brought to you by TELUS. Hello, I'm Mike Agarbo. And hi there, I'm Mary Murtosh, and welcome to App TV. It's a guide through the ups and downs, the downloads and don't downloads of the app world. This episode is all about exactly what you're doing right now, watching video. Let's start it all off with everyone's first video app, YouTube. This little invention is less than 10 years old and has come to revolutionize the modern video world. It's brought seemingly simple videos to the planet, which has created media sensations overnight, like Justin Bieber. And those little cats that play piano. That too. <laughs> it has been used for entertainment, news gathering, and simply having fun. YouTube is an app that definitely enters the App Hall of Fame. Well, accessible from most mobile devices, you can search for the content you want, and really there are videos on almost everything. The only problem with YouTube, the overwhelming amount of content makes searching a little difficult unless you know exactly what you're looking for. But as far as problems go, that's probably a good one to have. But YouTube is just the gateway to the world of video apps. We're going to take you one step further with apps you can use to edit your videos on the go. And apps that stream television shows and movies onto your smartphone. Take a look. We've got something interesting for all you movie buffs and TV aficionados. It's an app that keeps the films and shows you love with you at all times, Netflix. Netflix is a subscription-based service that offers media to its users via internet streaming. It's a free app to download, but for access to the films and TV shows, you're required to pay a subscription fee of $7.99 a month. What do you get for that amount of cash? Access to a lot of content. You can stream TV shows and movies as often as you want. The subscription gives you access to whatever Netflix has to offer, and you can watch it as often as you want. Netflix has an extensive collection of documentaries and a wider array of foreign films, which are both nice alternatives to the effects-laden Hollywood blockbusters. But don't worry, they've got a few of those as well. If you subscribe to Netflix and you start watching a movie on your computer or TV at home, you can pick it up on the go on your portable device as the content is synced across multiple platforms. The user interface is about as easy as they come. The downside of such simplicity is that the app doesn't offer as many advanced function as the web version does, so searching can get a bit time consuming and tiresome. The slider bar allows you to fast forward or jump to other points in the film, which, unlike the YouTube version, doesn't lock up the film you're watching. Though, you still may find yourself waiting a few seconds while the show buffers. And the home screen instantly shows you the latest movie editions, so as soon as you load up the app, you can see the new titles. The quality of the films you watch through Netflix is exceptional, considering you're likely watching the movie on a phone. And you don't have to go through the painstaking process of downloading, ripping, uploading, encoding, or even copying the film to your mobile device. You just make your selection and start watching. A few other things to note, streaming over 3G can eat up a lot of your monthly data plan, so be warned. And the Canadian version of Netflix doesn't offer as extensive a content library as the American version does. However, there's a ton of amazing films and TV shows to be found, as well as some old gems worth checking out. And the whole thing fits right into your pocket. Video on your smartphone isn't only driven by apps connecting you to YouTube, you can find video being used in a variety of apps, including this week's Hot 5. Air Video will let you stream any of your video content from your home media collection to your device, even converting the video format to work on your smartphone along the way. We love this app. If you want to send video the other way, you can always stream out on your own channel. There's a variety of apps that do this, but our app of choice is the Ustream Live Broadcaster. Notify people on Facebook and Twitter before your live stream starts and even have interaction during the live stream with Ustream's social stream feature. Ever see those popular videos on YouTube of the people who take daily photos of themselves for years on end? Join in the fun with an app called Every Day. The app tells you where to line up your face, gives you reminders to shoot your photo, and you'll have a video of yourself aging gracefully before your eyes. Well, the graceful part is up to you. Speaking of photos becoming video, we've got an app to help you create your own stop motion videos right on your smartphone. It's called Simply Stop Motion Recorder. Move around those little toys and objects, 
snap the photos, and put it together in a little movie to release the child within. If that's got you feeling a bit nostalgic, you'll want to download 8mm Vintage Camera. There's a lot of faux vintage apps out there, but this one really stands out for us. With its easy to use interface, ability to add vintage effects like film jitter, projector sound effects, and most importantly, a really authentic 8mm camera look, you'll be transported back in time in no time. It really is exciting to see where the world of apps is going. When we think of apps, typically we think smartphones. Well, apps are available on a number of internet connected devices. And a great example is TELUS's Optic TV. This is their home television service. And now they have the expandability to offer the Facebook app. And this is pretty cool because it's actually available free of charge and works in conjunction with your TV viewing. Watching a great show right now, Get Connected TV. I can go into the uh, the main menu here. It's really well laid out and so simple to get to the uh, actual Facebook app. Go to Applications, hit Facebook. From here, I can set up my Facebook account to work with Optic TV. Uh, a few simple steps uh, get you up and going. Or I can go and access the one that I've uh, already uh installed. Now ask me for my four digit pin and this is kind of a, a cool feature. Every family member can actually access their Facebook account uh, through the Optic TV uh, interface here. Once I've done that it uh, brings me right into the whole Facebook interface uh, for Optic. And this is kind of a cool thing because I can still watch television while accessing all of my social media. You can see here on the side it's telling me what I'm actually watching right now. Watching Get Connected TV on the uh, digital video recorder. What I like is that uh, because of the whole social media aspect I mean, you want to share what you're doing and your thoughts and uh, the different types of content you're accessing. I can actually share my view. I can uh, tell people uh, what show I'm watching and whether I like it or not, and that'll come up on my uh, Facebook uh, feed. You can see up on the top here, I've got my uh, Facebook picture and my status update. I can go to my wall here, and this will uh, basically show you uh, what's happening on uh, my news feed. I can even have it uh, auto scroll if I want to to access uh, all the updates that are happening from myself uh, and my friends. Speaking of friends, I can go down to the friends option, and it'll actually bring up all my friends, my Facebook friends. And I can go into the individual friends here, see uh, what their status updates are, or even check out their photo albums uh, as well. I'll just give you an example. I can go down to my photos, I can create a slideshow, and I can go in and uh, view them all individually uh, as well. And it's, it's very quick too, because uh, you know these pictures, uh, I've got literally hundreds of them, and I can access them all within seconds. A really exciting uh, way to look at how social media and apps are being integrated into television, it's TELUS's Optic TV and uh, a great new addition, the Facebook app. After the break, we continue our rundown of the video app world with a look at the apps that make shooting and editing content as easy as watching television. We've got all that and a lot more when App TV continues. See you in a moment. Nowadays, there seems to be a channel for almost everything. Seriously, the fishing channel, the shopping channel, the home renovation channel. You can find TV channels dedicated to practically any subject matter. So why should it be any different for apps? We're going to take a look at three offerings today, and they're all available to download for free. Let's kick off our app channel surf with a look at an app that finds its roots on television. The Score is one of the 5,000 channels out there, and you guessed it, the focus is sports, and everything to do with the people that play them. On the iPhone, just tap the little play icon in the top right corner, then look for channels on the top left. Now you have a list of every video offering that Score Mobile has, but clearly this app isn't only about the video clips. From the NHL, NBA, NFL, CFL, MLB, EPL, and other three-letter acronyms, along with college football, college basketball, UEFA, actually, about the only thing not being covered here is a family backyard game of lawn darts in Brandon, Manitoba. Anyway, you can zero in on the sports and scores you want, but you have to do that manually, as the app won't let you filter and limit the information. But with a little digging, it will keep you up to date on your league or your team of choice. Let's change channels and go from sports to music with a look at Vivo. Vivo is an app that's seriously in tune with the music you want. Vivo lets you find, play, and share tunes and music videos, create playlists of your favorites, and get alerts to view music video premieres. By accessing Vivo's catalog, you can select from around 25,000 videos from over 7,000 artists. And if you find something you like, you can share it with everyone via Twitter, Facebook, or email. 
Overall, the videos are better quality than YouTube, and you'll get a lot of official material here as the record companies supply most of the footage. No chance of camera phone footage scattered in these results. Do you know this logo? It represents the National Film Board of Canada, or NFB, to its friends. Now, what can I say to entice you about the app from the people who brought you the Log Driver's Waltz? How about over a thousand movies, documentaries, award-winning animations, and trailers galore? The NFB has content about Canada and beyond that will astound and amaze. And it can be saved to your device for 48 hours for when you have the time or if you're out of Wi-Fi range. The NFB has been making movies of all kinds for decades, and you can browse or search the entire collection right in the palm of your hand. And of course, content is available in both English and en français. The TV may seem to have an unending number of channels, but the tube has nothing on the ever-expanding app universe.